Gregorio Ivanovich Rasputin. Yes, comrade. Dovarich. Dovarich. <laughs> so good to have you on the show, man. Yeah, good to be here, man. I'm happy. So, so how has everything been so far? How are things going? Career-wise and all that. Career-wise. Any new acting gigs coming up? Um, I'm pretty much doing like a little appearance on, on a movie for a friend. Okay. And um, that's pretty much it. But I realize that I need to write. I need to write. It's yes, something I'm do. afraid to do. Yeah. But I need to do it. Why do you think you're afraid of writing? Because I read a book. <laughs> you read a book? I read a book yeah. on why, I think it's called, uh, Why Your Screenplay Sucks was recommended by a friend. Yeah. And... I said to myself, yeah, I'll leave that to the professionals. <laughs> <laughs> But I need to do it because I realize I need to I need to do my own work. You know, I admire we see what they said about you know leaving it to the professionals. It, it suggests that there's a certain amount of humility that you don't think you are anything special, that you don't think you have what it takes. Mm-hmm. Some will look at that as a person who is telling you that as being negative. Perhaps in, 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 it's in the context of whether or not you, you know if this person means well for you. But I think when you get intimidated by all the odds and ends, the, the bells and whistles that are involved in a creative process like writing, that's where the hesitation comes from. And... Uh, I hope that all these different books on writing and so on, I hope that the first thing they tell you is you need to relax. Don't worry. Don't worry if the work is going to be terrible. Because well, it I, is. Because I guarantee you it will be. It will be. Y- yeah. y- you see what I'm saying? Uh, Was it I'm Hemingway that said that? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, not, I'm not certain. I will, ch- I will, I will check it out. Said, like, yeah. First draft of anything is crap. Right. Yeah. No, no. I mean, not even. We're not even being. I'm not even being mean spirited when I say that the first set of stuff I wrote was horrible. Mm. I'm not gonna show that to anyone. I don't even like reading it again. Yeah. But what is key? Consistency. Getting up and going back at it. Going back in that fire, because I say you know the number one rule for a director is or the 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 the, 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 the a director's main purpose is to solve problems. You know what? On a general sense, I think uh, the purpose of any creative is to solve problems. What's your What's your problem? Well, I have this idea in my head. That's my problem. How do you solve that problem? And, 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 the, and the problem from the idea is that this idea wants to get out and, and realize itself in existence. So how do I solve that problem? Well, now I go about finding out how to solve the problem. I need to write a script, but I need to learn how to write that script. So that's the next problem you have to solve. Mm-hmm. So that's what I mean by creatives. The main purpose of any creative is a, is to solve problems. You're a problem solver. Are you a problem solver, Greg? I, that's my job. There you it's go, man. To solve problems. You yeah. solve problems. I mean, problems. I have it all. I have, I have the soft, all the software uh, to do it, uh, the books to do it, yeah. and all of that. Yeah. I have a number of ideas. Yeah. I just need to get going but do you th- um so do you think it's important for a screen actor because you're primarily a screen actor have you done any theater before very little very little. i don't have the time to dedicate right to, to theater so so primarily being a screen actor do you think it's important for a screenwriter uh, a screen actor sorry to be a writer as well absolutely why because it it um it helps you It helps you communicate with the with the um, finey character right. when you are doing someone else's work. Right. And uh, it, it also opens up more opportunities for, for an actor. They have a lot of actors yeah. that are directing now, that are yeah. writing now. I'll give you one example. Ian Summerholder right. from Vampire Diaries. Right. Great delivery. I love his delivery in right, Vampire Diaries. Right. He has directed a number of the episodes of the last the last season and right. they're great so you're saying that part of your process as an actor when you're getting ready for a role you actually do some writing based off of the material that you're given the script and all that you do your own writing in 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 uh, i will do writing but n- not not story writing of i will course. do writing like b- um, b- um like a diary yeah, type writing yeah. 
around maybe the character what i need yeah. to use yeah. for the character yeah. so that i will bring all of that crap yeah. out <laughs> bring all of that up <laughs> and give and me the performances that i need yes, that's my job and i love to do that and you see this is why people just don't understand when a person calls themselves an artist when a person calls themselves a professional in the world of art and entertainment they, they really think you know it's all fun and games and we're all playing make and believe pretending. and we're pretending no, no. Look, the amount of work that goes into preparing for a role as an actor i think and when you come across people who call themselves actors and you don't see that type of preparation and then they show up on set actually even learn the lines or i want to do it this way yeah, but <coughs> Marlon Brando. W- w- okay, no, no, no. <laughs> See, th- Marlon Brando started off doing all the things that were necessary. And when you get to a point where you sure. can play with the medium because you are such a master at it, you give leeway, you know? So, I think I think you... you, you s- thus far, I think you're enjoying a very successful career as a screen actor. You've been in how many feature films now? And four or five, uh, one, two, Dude, four. I mean, in today's world of extreme competition, that is a monumental achievement. And you should always look at the way you're living your life and you're carrying out your professional career in the entertainment industry. Those are real achievements. A lot of people, you, do you know how much um, messages I get online from actors from all over the world mm-hmm. looking to do films and all that based on the, the films and the trailers that I have put out and so on. It's amazing how many talented people are out there who are not working, who are not being in films, doing what they love doing. And it's such an important thing to be able to exorcise those demons, so to speak, to get them out of you. They are. Yeah. They are demons, yes. They really are, you know? So, uh, very quickly, I just wanted to find out, um, what's what's your position on an actor... Because they're not getting work in film, on an actor doing advertising, like doing ads and so on. Well, I for me personally, I I decided not to do ads. Yeah. Um, now, for I just have this philosophy for actors who ha- are already established, like mm-hmm. uh, uh, Scarlett Johansson, yeah, um, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, things like that. Yeah. That's fine, yeah. you know, because you bring something to the product that the product needs to get at it. That's fine. We know you're an established actor. Yeah, yeah. You can do that for extra money. But then they also have actors who have made a career out of doing adverts, like like the one from Allstate, the one that um, stay away from me, protect yourself from me. I'm like me. <laughs> that guy does that ad great. Yeah. But I've only seen him in one show, right. which was it's Sarah Connor Chronicles. I have not seen him in anything right, else. Now, right. I know he's doing uh, making a good living with that, but it's just my philosophy. Do you think that uh, you surrender your creative license when you do ads? Maybe. Maybe. Possibly. It's something yes. to look at. Yes. Well, I'll tell you, Greg, we're going to continue our discussions. I really hope you become part of our podcast family and I, I i'm looking forward to seeing your own podcast as i know mm-hmm. you're going to be creating your own yes and you know like many other podcast communities we will all be on each other's podcast talking about a whole bunch of stuff mm-hmm. as we will be in the next segment awesome hey guys thanks for watching and if you like this video and you want to see more be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on facebook twitter instagram and soundcloud and check out my film series available on vimeo on demand Links are in the description. Thanks for stopping by.